So the final underway, up towards Liam Fennelly. Whipped out in a pile-up of bodies as the players were going for that one. A couple of players looking to be dazed as it's played up towards Pat's Fox corner. There with Liam Simpson. Two players still lying on the ground, I can tell you, away from the action as Declan Carr nips in here. Right challenge from Andy O'Connor. Right the clear, his shot is blocked down by Pat Dwyer. Scramble to get this ball free. Fips still in the attack. Michael Cleary against John Henderson. Stopped somehow by Pat Dwyer. And finally it's gone out over the end line and it's gone wide. Now the referee will surely stop the action here once his attention has been brought to the fact that there are two players down injured. Liam McCarthy is the Kilkenny player involved and it seems that it's uh, Michael Ryan maybe. Or Connell Bonner could be the uh, Tipperary player involved. So McCarthy and Connell Bonner, yes it is. The players who uh, just got in one another's way that time as the ball was coming down in the frantic opening seconds to the All-Ireland Hurling Final. Well, hopefully they'll be able to retake their places. So it's going to be a puck out, and Michael Welch will take it. Aidan Ryan runs into Christy Heffernan. Meanwhile, Bobby Ryan has a shot blocked down by John Power. Power against Lenny. Michael Thielen, part of the Glenmore contingent, trying to touch it on there towards Evan Morrissey. Finally, trying to get right involved in the action early in the match. Kilkenny looking like they mean business early on. Now DJ Carey. He's got great pace. Turns it high, but he's put it wide. Colin Bonner, I think, will be aware early on about the pace of this young player. He really is one of the speed merchants of hurling. And if you give him a yard, well, he'll still feel a couple of dozen more. Yes. Great ball back by Liam Fenley here when he had no chance of scoring himself. Spotted the loose man outside. DJ Carey gathered it very well and uh, showed good pace. And uh, normally, like they got a good start and score from there, but just took the ball. Back left car. Against Eddie O'Connor. He's anxious to make an early impression as well, but we still await the opening score of the game. Two wides for Tipperary, one for Kilkenny. Christy Heffernan coming out towards this one, but in the end gets in Richie Farr's way. Michael Phelan now, without the stick, belting it forward. Towards Eamon Morrissey and Fennelly showing very clever stick work on the ground. Morrissey trying to line himself up for a shot. It's stopped by Paul Delaney. Comes out to the recovered Connell Bonner. Towards Aiden Ryan. Driven defiantly downfield towards Declan Ryan. Punched on towards Pat Fox. Beaten for an by Liam Simpson. Michael Cleary going across to put in a challenge. He reaches Fox. Very near the sideline. Eddie O'Connor going back, doing well, getting goal side. And Simpson unable to keep the ball in play. It's going to be a sideline ball. And the pressure will be on the Kilkenny backs. Liam Simpson was a brother-in-law of Bill Hennessy, the two cornerbacks in the Kilkenny team this afternoon. John Lai is having such a marvellous season, seen by many people as the complete player. What's turning out to be his best season so far. Whipped in, stopped by Pat Dwyer. Driven out towards John Power, right half forward, stopped by Connell Bonner. Tipperary are trying to get on top of their task early on, but it's Christy Heffernan who's breaking through. Well beating Bobby Ryan, and passing it outside when he could have gone for a point himself, and the referee says that he can't do Too many steps, I think, or perhaps he uh, caught the ball twice. I think he caught the ball twice, and he had plenty of room there. Christy might well have taken a point. Um, can you, uh, they have started quite well, they're full of action, and they're all go and... Uh, it's certainly like to get a, a score on the board. I think Christie could well have had a shot there when he got inside uh, Bobby Ryan. That was curious because Christie really had the chance to get a score himself. Instead, he placed it outside to DJ Carey, who's already fairly well marked. Hey. 
as you hear Christy race inside, catches the ball once, goes on again then, and uh, I think just he did, he's not sure whether to go on with the ball or take a shot, and uh, he catches the ball here again, and that's a free old second offence. Pat Fox, Pat Dwyer, comes out, John Lamy. John Lahey, the man of the moment. And at the canal end, the Tipperary fans salute the opening score of the game, which has taken five and a half minutes to produce. Michael Welch, walking out with the hurley stick, which is Father Ollie has made for him. Richie Palm, that was Christy Nuppany. Slotted outside by Conor O'Donnell to the waiting aid Ryan. Control just letting him down. Liam Welch. Adamant over there. He's going to join Joe Corporate. Vincent Cormac Bonner, one of the most photographed legs in Croke Park this afternoon. John Park, hitting by Conal Bonner. Indications early on that the Kilkenny half forward line could cause problems for the tip half back line. And they certainly look very sharp there. They started very well, and they do pick up there by John Power. And maybe he should knock that ball across 21 looking for Liam Fennell, who looks very sharp. And I think Kilkenny just need to take one or two chances now to settle them. They started quite well, but to very broke up the field, not one chance took their point. Kenny O'Connor, under the dropping ball, needs him to distance. Declan Carr criticised in many places for his performances so far this season. Today he wants to turn in a really good 70 minutes work. Declan Ryan. Uh, four sideline ball. It's out by Richie Parr. Down towards the inside forward of line. And no shit he gets that first against Liam Fennelly. We've seen Fennelly win a couple of balls and he got out very fast that time. And the referee for the foul there on Pat Fox by Liam Simpson awards the free into Tipperary and they can go two points ahead here. Michael Cleary have scored eight points against Cork in the drawn match, and seven in the replay, and one nine against Galway. Lines up Tipperary's second scoring chance. So Tip leading by two points to nil. In that last match of the one nine, it is tallied against Galway. Six were from frees and two were from 65s. And this is what, just what Tipper good at all the year. Pat Fox great in the broken play, snaps the ball into his hand and a loose swing by Liam Simpson gives away a silly free and an uh, easy point for Tipperary. At the other end, the Tipperary attack still trying to find some rhythm and combination. Because they haven't really combined all that terribly well so far in this match and that's been the tale of their campaign in the championship. And yet they're here in the final. Michael Bieler will need a replacement stick. Uh, team trainer Michael O'Flynn is bringing out Richie Power battling there with Aiden Ryan. We got a touch on to up towards Nicky English, and the referee saw the drop down by Bill Hennessy on Nicky English. Referee very sharp. So Michael Cleary has another chance. Makes it look very easy, quite routine. And Tip now go into a three-point lead when it seemed that Kilkenny were getting the early breaks. Because Kilkenny just can't afford to give away freeze in that situation. Michael Cleary has been slotting them over all the year. And they're simple freeze. And uh, Kilkenny, in fact, they've got to get the grips of the Tipper right forward and get out to the ball fast and knock it away without giving away a freeze. Aiden Ryan, Conor Bonner just went in, expecting the breaking ball to come his way. It's going to be a free in. Eamon Morrissey, the player, I'm sure they're going to be looking to this afternoon. He very much was their star against Andrew. It's the position of Conal Bonner after he pushed John Parr that time. Took up a good position. He just got the second defence, pushed by Michael Ryan. DJ Carey looking for Kilkenny's first score of the afternoon. So Kilkenny are off the mark after ten minutes.
expectations were for a tight contest here this afternoon, and that's what looks like we're about to get. Richie Barr against John Lahey, touch back in towards Liam Welsh. And by Aidan Ryan towards Nicky English, stopped by Bill Hennessy. Hennessy has the distinction of keeping Nicky English scoreless in two league matches in recent years. Struts, Michael Cleary runs in, Cormac Bonner trying to break that ball forward, still Cormac Bonner, English coming in as well, stopped in the end, and it's taken away out of danger by Liam Simpson. Great cornerback play, up towards Liam McCarthy, runs inside, she trying to get in goal side here against uh, Liam Fennelly, Fennelly causing problems, and he's put it over the bar. There's just a point in it. About the second point from play in the match, Kilkenny's first from play, three points to two. But if this resulted from great clearance by Liam Simpson when Kilkenny were under pressure and they cleared a long ball. Um, no Sheik out of here, it tripped accidentally, I think, in fairness by Liam Fenley, who snaps up quickly and scores a great point. Lahey has made a marvellous catch, raiding on that left-hand side. Shot down by Hennessy, ball inside still, no chance presented, turns out to Liam Walsh and ripped away out of the danger area. A real moment of danger there for the Kilkenny defence. Lahey the instigator, Carr, to keep the pressure on that defence, it's taken with some difficulty by Liam Welsh. Out of the middle towards Christy Hefferton, being marked the whole time by Bobby Ryan, Michael Phelan. Up towards Liam Fennelly, trying to break it down for the incoming John Power. No Sheehy again, standing his ground at fullback to Christy Hefferton. Tapped nicely forward towards Eamon Morris, who made a good diagonal run from right to left to turn and to put it over the bar and to put the sides level. Excellent positioning taken up by Eamon Morrissey to put the sides level. He made a good run across, that was a fine ball inside that time. Good ball again by Christy Heffernan here. Spots Eamon Morrissey running across the opposite corner from where he's playing, and this is very good corner forward play. Turns and snaps up an excellent score. And Kilkenny need Eamon Morrissey and Liam Fenley and these players to get on their game now and get, try and get some scores. They're coming back into this game very well. Tipperary's third wide of the game. Three also for Kilkenny. Kilkenny have certainly settled better now, Jordan. It's noticed that Christy Heffernan is making quite a big impact at centre half forward, and if he can keep going, it'll be very good for Kilkenny. Great catch from the man you talked about. Brilliantly down. Bobby Ryan now trying to get back goal side. He's fouled him. The referee is signalling for a free in, and Kilkenny can take the lead for the first time in the game from the three, which will be taken by DJ Carey. But what a piece of fielding that was by an informed Christy Heffernan. By his own admission, he hasn't been having a good season. This is the time to produce the form he can produce. Well, Christy certainly has, hasn't been playing well, but he looks all fired up today to have a big game. That's a magnificent catch with Hurley's flying everywhere and wins an excellent free and a great chance for Kikani to go ahead. DJ struck him in front. Two points now for DJ Carey from the Young Ireland's club, which is in Garum. So they've made a very fine recovery, having surrendered the first three points of the match to Tipperary. Ken Hogan's puck out, down towards Declan Ryan, just can't hold on to it, it comes to Michael Phelan instead. Both sides well G'd up by now, that's DJ Carey, down into space, but there's nobody there for it, because Liam McCarthy had come well in from his corner forward position. He'd taken up a left half forward position at that time. Morrissey really displayed his true all-star qualities in the semi-final. 